The Edward Weiss Band Distinguished Alumni Award for Public Service or Contribution to Public Affairs recognizes one alumnus or alumna each year whose life, work, career, and contributions exemplify the highest standards of service and deepest dedication to the sustenance of the common good. Dean Shelton. It is a great pleasure to introduce our honoree, Dr. Adam Fox. <laughs> Dr. Fox is an assistant professor of surgery and section chief of trauma in the surgery department at Rutgers University, New Jersey Medical School. And he's a faculty member in the division of trauma surgery and critical care. He is an associate trauma medical director of the New Jersey Trauma Center at University Hospital in, in Newark, associate medical director of the North Star Aero Medical Program and vice chair of the New Jersey Committee on Trauma, also feeling like a slacker, excuse me. I'm, I'm dean of Harper College, hi. <laughs> As a trauma surgeon, Dr. Fox spends a lot of time repairing both bodies and saving lives. The work is intense and demanding, I'm sure. University Hospital in Newark is the only level one trauma center for the region of northern New Jersey, handling more than 3,000 trauma cases a year. The trauma center is a leader in the advancement of trauma care in the nation, and Dr. Fox is at the forefront of that effort. You can even catch him in action on several episodes of the second season of New York Med, a docudrama on ABC. They have a lot of talent in this room. Dr. Fox is committed to community outreach and education, both nationally and internationally. He's actively involved in medical student education at Rutgers and a member of the International Medical Surgical Response Team and Mobile Acute Care Strike Team of the National Disaster Medical System. Dr. Fox's love of teaching and delivering exceptional care extends beyond his work in the United States. He's provided surgical care and education on multiple medical missions around the world to help improve the lives of the underprivileged and enhance the quality of surgical services at health facilities. What really stands out to me about Dr. Fox is his passion and commitment to Harper College and Binghamton University. In 2012, he helped create the annual lecture series, A Day in the Life of a Doctor, where physician alumni return to campus to share their stories and offer pre-health students an honest perspective of the medical profession. I want my son to go to one of those. Despite his busy schedule, each year he returns at homecoming to lead a panel of physicians and returns to campus on multiple occasions throughout the year to speak with students. He is active with Harper, Harper's Ferry, the student-run ambulance service on campus, and he was instrumental in bringing the Stop the Bleed campaign to the campus as well. His continuing dedication and commitment to public service and to the common good at home and abroad embodies the intent of Professor Weisband in creating this award. It is my sincere pleasure and honor to introduce the 2018 Edward Weisband Distinguished Alumnus Award for Public Service to Dr. Adam Fox. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't actually know what to say after hearing that. So um, I, I'm really just gonna get started. Uh, President Sanger, Dean Chilton, distinguished guests, alumni and fellow honorees, good evening and thank you for being here on this amazing night, honoring not just individual achievement, but also the products of Binghamton University, a Binghamton University education that created everybody that you see in this room, which is just incredibly phenomenal. I'm deeply honored and humbled to be the recipient of this year's Edward Weisband Alumni Award. In fact, I first learned of it after a long flight from Israel and had to look twice at my email in my sleep-deprived state. My first thought, really, was that there was a mistake in the choice for the award, but that was soon replaced by the fact that I actually had Dr. Weisband as a professor, and he made me cry. Uh, however, I will tell you, since I have a three-minute time limit on this, you're not going to hear the full story. 
I, suffice it to say, however, that Dr. Weisband was an incredible, incredible professor that I still remember to this day. And he had an exacting and demanding uh, 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 goal for his students that they really understood and worked towards what he wanted and what he represented in life. So the rest of the story will have to wait, but he didn't deliberately make me cry, I'll just tell you that much. To be honest, my surprise at becoming the recipient of this award is really the result of the fact that I love what I do tremendously. It puts a huge smile on my face that you could not believe. From taking care of trauma patients, to educating the next generation of clinicians, to traveling or around the world to educate or to operate, or ultimately to my involvement with Binghamton, I've been so deeply satisfied that I have never once thought about being granted an award. I've been privileged to have amazing role models and friends in my life, and their mentorship has helped me strive to an excellence where I don't want to let them down. Binghamton provides so many opportunities for their students, it's not at all a surprise to me that their graduates go on to accomplish some of the things you're hearing about tonight. I have way too many stories about Binghamton, several of which from my Shenango days. Thank you very much for eliminating my dorm. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that I could go on for hours. But again, there's a time limit here. I've watched the videos from the past. <laughs> In preparation for tonight, I did spend some time on the internet reviewing the contributions of Dr. Weisband and the awards recipients in the past. Seeing a professor of 50 years dedicated to public life, award winners who have started nonprofits providing medical care around the world, public servants, leaders in foster care and family life is truly awe-inspiring. And I am so proud to be joining this group of remarkable individuals. Finally, although my life and achievements were not accomplished in a vacuum and there are so many people who helped me do what I do, I would like to sing single out a few people for special thanks for helping me achieve some, some of what I've been able to accomplish over the years. The first is, I, I haven't seen him tonight, but Provost Donald Neiman, is he here? He's not here. Uh, I, I, need to, I need to give a shout out to him for really inviting me to his office. I had no idea when I was a student even where the dean's office was, uh, but I was invited to his office after a proposal made to bring an alumni lecture series to the uh, school. And he took a chance on an alumni that he had no idea about, and uh, we've been going strong for a, a large number of years now, bringing back physician alumni. If there's any physician in the room who wants to come back and speak, we'd be happy to have you. We do about six per year. Um, I need to thank Michelle Jones of the uh, school's pre-health office. Michelle has been really one of my almost or relatively frequent contacts and instrumental in operationalizing the phys physician lecture series for the students. Where's Leah? Hi, Leah. So I need to thank Leah Joggerst. She's the director of constituent relations for Harper College. And she takes my phone calls, my annoying phone calls, whenever I have a new idea to bring to Binghamton. She's the one who has to field them first, and she does it like a trooper. And uh, it, she has really helped me along in bringing some of my ideas to fruition. So I really need to thank Leah. She is tremendous. Uh, Dave Hubeny of the Office of Emergency Madison, uh, Management on campus, along with Mayor Berkman, and all the amazingly talented and dedicated students of Harper's Ferry, who have made me so incredibly proud of running with the recently introduced Stop the Bleed campaign on campus. They are phenomenal. President Stanger, who is right in front of me right here, who for his unwavering support, I've only gotten to know him a little bit more over the last six months, but he has really helped us and brought the Stop the Bleed campaign to the campus and in making the school safer by introducing over 200 bleeding control kits throughout the campus in case, God forbid, there is a problem with life-threatening bleeding. I'm almost done. I see you coming near me. Uh, Dr. John Pryor, also a Binghamton alum. Uh, 
and a true public servant who lost his life in service of our country, who sets an example and shapes my day-to-day -day practice as a clinician and human being. I need to reach out to him. My close friends, several of whom are sitting right here, Mike Sudnow, Robbie Cohen, and Becky, thank you so much for being here. Dean Chilton for nominating me. And lastly, to my amazing family, who could not even fathom not being here tonight despite the fact that I downplayed this event. <laughs> my mother and father, without whom none of this would have been possible, over the years, they have provided every form of support known to man to a son who often decided to take the longest road possible to get anywhere in life. <laughs> to my brother and best friend, Stephen, there are no words to express my feelings. And to my wonderful sister-in-law, Andrea, and two amazing nieces, Jessica and Tali, thank you. Thank you for this honor and enjoy the evening. <laughs>